Hey guys, today we are going to look at a very strange ancient structure built at least 800 years ago. This is the famous Shiva temple in Dharasuram, and at the entrance we can see something beyond our understanding. Why is there a metal fence around the structure? What is inside this? If you peep through these holes in the mesh, we see stairs, a set of steps made of stone. Why do these stone steps need to be locked? It is locked because these are not regular stones. These are musical steps. If you walk on them, these steps will create seven notes of the musical scale in Indian classical music. In the last few years, countries like Chile and Belgium have created stairs which produce musical notes when people walk on them. To us, this seems like the height of modern technology. However, we already have such a musical stairs created at least 800 years ago, but people here do not respect such a priceless structure. They throw stones on them to see how it sounds, and some have even tried to destroy them. You can see so many stones on these stairs, and you can also see the steps have undergone some serious damage. Remember, I've already shown you the musical pillars of Humpy in another video. So what is so special about this structure and how is it different from Humpy? If you observed these steps carefully, a question should have already popped into your head. Remember, I said if you walk on them, you will hear seven different notes, but there is a total of 10 steps. What do these extra three steps do? This is the specialty of this temple. The three extra steps produce the sound Aum. If you roll a pebble on the stairs, the sounds Ah, Oo, and Mm will be produced from the extra three steps. So when you hear the sound together, it will sound like Aum. Why this sound Aum? Why do Hindus believe that Aum is a very sacred sound? Why do they keep chanting Aum while meditating? Because these three sounds are the most basic sounds and these sounds are the ones you can create without using your tongue. And you can create the rest of all other sounds using a combination of these three sounds. This may be hard to visualize, so think of how we use three colors known as RGB or red, green, and blue to create any color we want. This is why these three colors are called primary colors, and you can create millions of different color shades by mixing them in various combinations. Similarly, the three sounds, ah, ooh, and mm, are considered the primary sounds which can be mixed up to create any sound we want. It is even said that om is a sound of the universe itself, and recordings in deep space reveal sounds very similar to Aum. Here is a recording of the solar Aum noise of the sun. We could talk about how each of the three major gods of Hinduism represent one primary sound and also one primary color but we're not going to, because we have something much more exciting, much more fascinating evidence of sound technology in the same temple. This temple has thousands of carvings, and nobody has analyzed this particular carving until now. But what we have here is the visual representation of the sound Aum. 
Look at this. These are sound bursts representing Aum. And this is the oldest carving in the world, which visually shows sound. Today, you may see visuals of sound on your computer, but this was created at least 800 years ago. Is this just a theory? Am I making this story up? No, according to ancient Tamil texts, Lord Shiva learns the secret of Aum from his son Murugan. And in the same carving, we can see Shiva in a respectful posture, learning the sound Aum from his son, who's shown here as a little boy. As the boy chants Aum, you can see how all beings start coming alive as the cosmic sound vibrates around them. And this carving proves something very important. Ancient builders were capable of some kind of advanced sound technology, which we do not understand. They were capable of visualizing sound and all these circular patterns in Hindu temples or visual representations of various sounds. Even today, we cannot create such musical steps from stones. But ancient builders have created so many strange stone artifacts which create various types of sounds. What kind of technology was used in ancient times? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I am Praveen Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell button to get all the updates. Please give this video a thumbs up and do share it with your friends. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.